This is a video where I'll show you the derivation of the capacitance of a cylindrical capacitor and a spherical capacitor. You will need these two formulae for your mastering physics assignment on this chapter, chapter 24. So the cylindrical capacitor is defined to be two cylinders, one inside the other. The length is L, the inner radius will be A, and the outer radius will be B. Now when this is connected to a potential difference, we're going to have the inside cylinder positive and the outside cylinder negative with an air gap in between there. Okay, so there is an electric field in this gap due to this inner charge cylinder and it would point from the inner to the outer. Now we'll assume also that the length is much greater than the radii A and B and so we can use Gauss's law to find the electric field in the gap. Uh, now if you recall, we've done that before many times in chapter 22, that the electric field due to an infinitely long charged cylinder is 2k lambda over r, k being Coulomb's constant, and lambda being the charge per unit length, so q over l. Okay, so the inner cylinder will have charge q and the outer negative q. Okay, so the potential, remember, capacitance is defined to be the charge divided by the potential difference. Capacitance is charge over potential difference between the inner and outer cylinders. So what we need to do now is do a, an integration to get the charge between the inner and outer cylinders. So delta V will be VB minus VA, which is the negative integral from A to B of E dot dr. So we simply integrate that formula that we got from Gauss's law, the 2k lambda over r dr. And this gives us negative 2k lambda ln r evaluated from a to b. So it's negative 2k lambda ln b over a. It is a negative potential difference because the outer surface is at a lower voltage than the inner surface. But that doesn't matter. For the purposes of the definition of capacitance, we now write this as q over delta v. And so this is q over 2, let me take the absolute value here. We don't have negatives for the definition of capacitance. 2k, now lambda is q over L, ln v over A. And so the final answer is L. Notice how the q drops out. The capacitance of a capacitor has nothing to do with um, the charge on it. It's purely a geometric property um, of the capacitor. So it's L over 2k ln v over A. Now, often what we do is we define a capacitance per unit length for these long, thin cylindrical capacitors. So a capacitance per unit length would be C over L, so it's just 1 over 2K ln B over A. Now, notice how this only depends on the geometry. So it's the dimensions B and A that determine the capacitance. So if you want a really big capacitance, you make B very close to A. So the ln of that's very close to zero, which makes this really huge because it's on the bottom. Okay, so that is the cylindrical one. The spherical one, is you do exactly the same thing. You simply use the formula from Gauss's law for the electric field due to a sphere rather than a cylinder. So we have an inner sphere and an outer sphere. In the gap, there is an electric field. We'll call the inner surface B, we call the outer surface A, and you do exactly the same thing. The potential difference is the negative of E dot dr, and the electric field due to a 
spherically charged object, that center object, is just kq over r squared. That's the electric field in the gap. So it's kq over r squared dr from a to b, so from the inner sphere to the outer sphere. And so this delta v will be negative k q negative one over r between a and b so it's k q one over b minus one over a which again is a negative quantity because the outer sphere is a lower potential than the inner sphere and so now the capacitance becomes the charge divided by that potential difference between those two surfaces which equals um, a b over k b minus a so we just took that to a common denominator and then flipped it okay once again notice how this capacitance depends only on the geometry just the radii of the inner and outer spheres and the closer together the inner and outer spheres are in radius the bigger the capacitance so you want a small gap Small gaps make big capacitance. Okay, so that's the end of that.